What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Stephanie, and welcome to another episode of The Good, The Bad, and The Trendy, the show where we try out new, strange, and innovative products. Today, we are testing out Freck, which is a long wear freckle makeup. Freckles have really been on trend the last, at least year. I feel like it can go either one of two ways, like really bad, like Pippi Longstocking kind of style, or it could be a really beautiful addition to a makeup look. So before we get into it, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe below, come join the sisterhood, no matter your true pronoun or gender identity, come join the family. All right, let's get started. Okay, so like I said, adorable packaging. You're supposed to shake this up first. It's like a sheer brown product. Ooh, it's a very warm toned sheer brown product. I've drawn on freckles just a couple times and it didn't go super well. I just did it with my um, eyebrow pencil and it looked okay, but I feel like since this product is specifically made for freckles, Hopefully it'll look really good. I know a lot of people with freckles have a lot of struggles in terms of makeup application. And now us freckleless people are applying it for fun. So hopefully not offending any of you freckled folks out there, but I really want some on my face. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna start now. I'm gonna scooch in a little closer, get a little more personal up in here. I think I'm gonna start just on my nose. So pretty much in the instructional videos I saw, you just wanna dot, 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 and then use our finger to kind of tap on it and thin it out. So we're just gonna try that out. Okay, I put the ISO down a little bit. I feel like it's happening. I started to go out on this side of my face. I think the trick is every time you do a few, you really wanna dip back into the little bottle, but it looks quite natural, I feel like. Hmm. I like how it looks so far. I am not so sure about my ooh, placement. Like where should I stop? putting the freckles. But I really do like this method of tapping it because it disperses them more and then it just, I don't know, it makes it look very, very natural. I'm quite surprised right now. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep going. I should stop though. I think I went too far in my nose. I should have stopped like here. And I don't know if I put too much there, but it looks really cute to me. Like, I, I feel like it looks quite natural. I, yeah, maybe I should have stopped. Maybe I should have just done like right here, to be honest. But I mean, we're really seeing like a freckle full force. I feel like my sister right now, because my sister actually has a bunch of freckles, or at least when we were younger, she had a ton of freckles. And I feel like this is where all of her freckles were. So I'm gonna go ahead and then do the other side really quickly and then come back. I really like how this turned out. I hope that the camera is catching it well because I really love this. Like I feel like if I would have gotten my sister's freckles when I was younger, like the same freckles as my sister, like this is what I would look like as an older person. I'm not so sure about my nose application. Like should I have gone down more or gone up higher? Because I feel like I put more here because that's where the sun would hit more, right? Like on the nose bridge. So that's why I added more here. And it turns out like this was such an easy application. I just feel like the best way to go about it is to dip it in, do a bunch of dots as many as you can and then put it back and then dot it on. Uh, and just keep going from there. But it only took a few minutes for me to do the entire thing. And once you really start dispersing it, like I thought I had to be really careful about just doing like perfect dots, which obviously that is the thing you wanna do the most, but even some of them that kind of accidentally spread down a little bit or weren't perfect dots, once you start just thinning it out, then it's not a big deal. So in the instructions, it also says that you can set it with a powder. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it with my Laura Mercier. I will definitely be experimenting with this more. Obviously I did like a full look like this, but I feel like it'd be really cute if I just put it on my nose. I know that Jimena, I'm sure a lot of you know Jimena, she's just 
beautiful Spanish girl uh, who lives in LA now. She does it just like on her nose and it's just so freaking cute. I love it. So, damn. I like how this turned out. I'm kind of patting it with a brush and nothing is moving around at all. It's really easy to edit right when it goes on. So if you accidentally put um, a big gloop of it, you can wipe that off very easily. But then once you continue to blot it on, I feel like it just stays. All right, y'all, you already know how I feel about this product. I think that Freck is good. <laughs> I honestly cannot wait to try this out more. I feel like I was born with these freckles. Like, it is so cute. All right, y'all, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe below, come join the sisterhood, and make sure to click that little bell button to get my notifications. I love y'all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.